Okay, I'm going to go over how to calculate the earnings per share and the return on equity for a company that's considering two different capital structures. In other words, two different amounts of debts they're going to have. Um, so let's go ahead and read the problem. Uh, Loving Gardens has $6 million in assets, $700,000 in earnings before interest and taxes. Uh, 80,000 shares of stock outstanding in a marginal tax rate of 40%. If LG's total debt to, debt to total assets ratio is 70%, it pays its cost of debt is 12%. And if the debt to total asset ratio is 40%, their cost, uh, their interest cost of debt is uh, 9%. So it wants us to calculate EPS and return on equity for each different capital structure and then say and which one is better. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in here. Um, because we're considering two different things, I'm just going to put them side by side. So we'll say assets is uh, six million. One, two, three, one, two, three. And I'm going to do them side by side. Okay. And then uh, uh, EBIT is 700,000. And it's the same for both capital structures. And the shares outstanding is 80,000. Again, it's the same. And it doesn't say that it changes. Uh, the tax rate, the marginal tax rate is 40%. And we have uh, the debt to total asset ratio is 70% and the other one is 40% and the cost of debt, the cost of the debt at 40% is, at 70% it's 12% and the cost of debt, if you have 40% debt is 9%. Of course it's going to be cheaper normally as you go down in the cost of debt. Uh, so, what do we want to find? The problem states uh, that we want to find A, the earnings per share, what they are for each capital structure, and B, we want to find the return on equity, what it is for each one of those. So for a solution, uh, what we could do is first we want to know how much debt we have, right? So I'm going to put debt. So the debt is going to be equal to, well, we have the debt to ask the total assets ratio, and here's the total assets. So it's just going to be equal to uh, my assets times this ratio. And if I drag that across, it'll copy that formula. All right, so, and then the next thing we want to know, we'll just go ahead and copy the EBIT down here again. And the EBIT, I'm just going to go equals this. Okay. And then, and then we want to know how much interest we paid on this debt. So the interest we paid, well, this is the cost of debt. And this is the debt, right? So the interest we paid, we would say it equals a negative this times this. Oh, times this times the amount of debt we have. So this is the amount of debt and this is the cost of the debt. So then I made it negative because because it's coming out of our pocket. As a company, we're paying that. Okay? And then uh, let's go ahead and do a, let's underline this. And then we could say the earnings before taxes. So I could call it EBT, earnings before taxes. Okay. And that's just going to, I'm going to hit the sum key and it's tell it to sum these two. Right. So if I take my interest expense away, this is how much I earned. All right. Um, and then finally we want to pay our taxes. And again, our taxes are going to be, they're going to be negative. That's going to be how much we earned times the tax rate. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this format again. I don't know why that format went away. And then drag that across. All right, and then finally, I'll just go ahead and underline that so I know that's a different spot. We're going to do some math here. And this is going to be my net income. Okay, so my net income, again, I'm going to go sum. I'm going to tell it to sum these two. And we drag that across. All right, so now finally we're ready to calculate the earnings per share. The earnings per share, they're going to be equal to our earnings divided by the number of shares outstanding. Okay. So that's the answer to A. I guess I could copy this down. Copy. Paste. That's the answer to A. I'll go ahead and highlight that yellow. Now, the next thing we want to calculate is the return on equity. Well, we don't know the equity. So how do we calculate the equity? Well, the equity is going to be simply going to be your assets minus your debt. So it's going to be equal to the amount of assets minus uh, my debt. And that's going to give me how much equity I have. So now I can do B, the return on equity. So the return on equity is equal to, uh, it's going to be equal to how much we made divided by how much equity. And then, of course, we want to highlight that as a percent and take it out a couple places. We can copy it over. And that's the answer for that. So it sounds, you just got to kind of, you know, work through it, put everything, be systematic about it. What are we given? What we need to find? And then just kind of work through it. Well, this is my EBIT. Subtract off the interest, get that, and then from that you can figure out your taxes, and finally your net income, and then, and then you should be able to work out the rest. All right, so hopefully that helps. Uh, real simple example. See you next time. Bye.